was a six month battle with many, many scary moments. And today they say he's a real life superhero for surviving. It's been hell. There's been hell. I mean, seven months, I lost half a year. Harvey Disner doesn't remember much since he had a cough on March 22nd. His wife, Judy, remembers everything. He's a miracle. He is just a miracle. And we just, we appreciate every day. By March 28th, Harvey was hospitalized. By April 4th, he was on a ventilator and officially diagnosed with COVID-19. He'd recently had a heart bypass. His prognosis wasn't good. He was the perfect candidate to not make it through. For 77 days, Harvey was kept on life support until finally one day in June. Shockingly, he was able to breathe on his own, but hope quickly faded two days after being taken off the ventilator. I got a phone call from the hospital saying that um, he had coded. They did CPR for about six minutes and then they had to put him back on the vent. Six minutes, six minutes of CPR. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez, Harvey, you were a walking miracle. That, that, that's what everybody says. He is. We call him the tortoise warrior. Took a long time and it's going to be a slow recovery, but he's just a warrior. He spent the last nine weeks in a rehab facility learning to breathe again, learning to talk again on his own, where they celebrated a wedding anniversary they weren't sure they'd ever see. Very emotional. Very emotional. She set up a table outside the window with flowers and brought dinner for both of us. And I sat on my side of the window. Last Thursday, after nearly seven months, he finally came home to messages written along the driveway of love and encouragement and to a group of neighbors, friends and family all waiting by the front door, cheering for him, wearing red t-shirts specially designed for their very own tortoise warrior who had survived. He still has some healing to go. I came home with legs that don't move, but and maybe what a little that? more appreciation. A lot, a lot more appreciation for my, for my wife and my friend. As you heard there, he's just reminding everybody to keep wearing those masks and to never give up hope. I'm Jennifer Ann Wilson, 7 Action News. Wow, what a beautiful story, Davey Lou. Yep, mm -hmm. so glad he is back home now and doing so much better. Yes, indeed. Meantime,